Hello learners. Now let us see how to find roots for this 60 degree polynomial. Okay. Now, if you'll observe the degree of this point, 6, uh, it is an even degree. Okay. And if you'll also observe, it is also a reciprocal equation. What is, what is this reciprocal equation? There, there will be some sort of symmetry. You see, the coefficient of x power 6 is 6 and constant is minus 6. So it's like somewhat matching, right? Uh, it's like positive and it's negative. Now, coefficient of x power 5 is minus 25. Coefficient of x is plus 25. See? Coefficient of x power 4 is 31 and coefficient of x square is minus 30 and coefficient of x cube is uh, 0. It's not there. Uh, it's not there. Basically, it means that its coefficient is 0. So, basically, this is an even degree reciprocal equation of class. So, again, uh, it's needed to be mentioned uh, for your board exam. Okay. So, basically, x plus 1 and x minus 1 are factors of the given equation. In case if you want to solve this uh, gen generally, by a by a trial and error method, you can get that uh, if you'll take this as f of x, then basically f of minus 1 will come as 0 and f of 1 as, will come out as 0. So basically, you got two roots. Now, basically, we need to divide this given, uh, this given uh, expression by these two factors successively so that we can, uh, you know, factorize it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first divide this uh, expression by x plus 1 first with the help of Warner's method of synthetic division. What is this? Uh, I'm not going to do the standard long method, okay? Uh, I'm going to use Honest method of synthetic division. In case if you're not familiar with it, don't worry, you will understand it. Stay with me, okay? And if you'll observe, observe the way how I wrote, x cube was not there, so I wrote it as 0 into x cube. Is it needed? Yes. For this method, all the coefficients need to be mentioned. Even, even if some term is not there, you need to take its coefficient as 0 and write it. Now, how to begin? Uh, you can make two lines like this, how I made here, and then write down all the coefficients of this expression like this 6, minus 25, 31, 0, minus 31, 25, minus 6. Okay. Next, uh, we are going to divide it with x plus 1. So basically, here you need to write minus 1. Okay. It's plus 1. So here it should be minus 1. That's how the method goes. Now, you need to begin by putting a 0 under this first term. Now, what's 6 plus 0? It's 6. Now, after this, we need to constantly, you know, multiply and then put this here. Now, how it works, just see. What is 6 into minus 1? Minus 6. So, put down minus 6 here. Okay. Here it will come. What is minus 25 plus minus 6 minus 31? So, bring it here. Again, multiply and then put it here and then add that. Like that, this flow will go on. What's minus 31 into minus 1? It's plus 31, 31 plus 31, 62, 62 into minus 1, minus 62, 0 plus minus 62, minus 62, minus 62 into minus 1, plus 62. Okay, it will come here. Minus 31 plus 62 or 61 minus 30, uh, I'm sorry, uh, 62 minus 31, it's 31. Now 31 into minus 1, minus 31, 25 plus minus 31 is minus 6, minus 6 into minus 1 is plus 6. Okay, and then it will come out as 0. See, if you do everything right, if you do everything right, here you need to get a 0 because x plus 1 is a factor. Okay, you need to get a 0 here. In case you are not getting that, that means somewhere you might have made a mistake. Okay, now what I got is basically these are coefficients of a polynomial of degree 5. Okay, because we divided this expression of degree 6 by a linear polynomial, the coefficient would come out to be of degree 5. So basically, this is my coefficient of x power 5, this is my coefficient of x power 4, this is my coefficient of x uh, cube, this is my coefficient of x square, x, and this is my constant. If you'll observe, this expression can be basically written as x plus 1 into, like what your dear, divisor into quotient, uh, plus remainder. Remainder is 0 here, so don't, don't bother about it. Uh, this as you see, 6x power 5 minus 31x power 4 plus 62x cube minus 62 x square, like this, it goes on. Now. Well, I know that x minus 1 is also a factor for this, uh, you know, expression. Basically, it will be a factor for this also, what is uh, pending. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to divide this uh, fifth degree polynomial by x minus 1 again with Horner's method of synthetic division. Okay. So, I just mentioned it again uh, so that it will look good what I mentioned. As I mentioned, this fifth degree polynomial, I'm going to divide it by x minus 1. How, how to do it? First, write down all the coefficients like this. 6 minus 31, 62 minus 62, 31 and minus 6. Now here we are going to divide it uh, x minus 1. So basically uh, it's minus 1 here. So you need to put 
plus one here. Okay. Now uh, to start off, we we'll put a zero under six. What six plus zero? Six. Now again uh, multiply and then put it here. Again, what are you'll get? This needs to be multiplied. Then so put it here and then it goes on. Add. Okay. Six ones are six. So it would be minus twenty five minus thirty one plus six. Minus twenty five. Minus twenty five into one. Minus twenty five. Sixty two minus twenty five is thirty seven. Thirty seven into one. Thirty seven. Minus sixty two plus thirty seven. It would be minus twenty five. Minus twenty five into one. Minus twenty five. Thirty five minus thirty. I'm sorry. Thirty one minus twenty five. Six. Six ones are six. Minus six plus six. Zero. See if you again if you do everything right, you should get a zero here. In case you are not getting. uh please to check if you have made a mistake somewhere exam okay now here anyway you are watching the video already you already have done it and kept so that so basically this expression uh, 6x power 5 minus 31x power 4 this is nothing but x minus 1 and 2 now uh, since i divided this fifth degree polynomial with the linear uh, uh, linear uh, polynomial basically Uh, what i'd be getting is an expression of degree 4 okay expression with degree 4 so what these uh, you know five terms are basically you know coefficients of uh, that polynomial so 6 is a coefficient of x power 4 minus 25 is a coefficient of x cube so as you can see uh, this is nothing but x minus 1 into this okay x minus 1 into 6 power x power 4 minus 25 x cube plus 37 and it goes now next so basically See if you will observe six x power six. Come observe here, observe here. Six x power six. This was this was nothing but x plus one into this. Now this is nothing but you know x minus one into this. So ultimately this one would be x plus one into x minus one into this. Six x power four minus twenty five x cube plus thirty seven x cube. Now you see I got uh, I could factorize it this much. Now basically I need to get roots for this equation. Get roots for this fourth degree polynomial. Now, how to do that? I feel absurd. This is again uh, another reciprocal equation: six x power four minus twenty five x cube plus thirty seven x cube. See, there is you will observe some symmetry. Coefficient of x power four and constant it's matching. Coefficient of x cube and coefficient of x it's matching. Thirty seven is just there. Now it's an even degree reciprocal equation of class one. Okay, even degree you can understand reciprocal equation as I already mentioned. And next, uh, what is class one? The co the Coefficient here it's plus six. Okay, so it's class one. If it would have been negative, it would be class two. It's given in the textbook, so it's better to write in the way how it's given in the textbook for the board exam. Now next, the standard way just divide the equation by x square. So ultimately we would be getting this each term would be divided by x square. Again, uh, x power four by x square would be x square and x cube by x square would be x. Uh, here they would get cancelled. Here one x would remain in the denominator. Here x square would remain as it is. This is what I'd get it. Now next, I'm going to group the terms. Okay, six x square plus six y square. Take it as uh, uh, take them side by side and minus twenty five x minus twenty five x. Take them side by side and plus thirty one. I mean plus thirty seven uh, would come here. Okay. Now from these two terms, take six common. From these two terms, take minus twenty five common. We'll be getting uh, x square plus one y square and x plus one y. Now now uh, x square plus one by x square. I can write it as x square plus one by x square. I can write it as x plus one by x whole square minus two. Now, how that would be? Just uh, observe it. See, this would be x square plus one by x square. I'm going to add and subtract two here, so no change. So this would be nothing but x square plus one by x square plus two into x into one by x. Okay, minus two. Now, uh, if you'll observe the first three terms, it's of the form a square plus b square plus two ab. So it will be nothing but a plus b whole square. So x plus one by x whole square minus two. Okay. Now, so basically in the next slide you would be seeing that in place of x square plus one square, I have put x plus one by x whole square minus two. Okay. This is what you would see. And then multiply. Uh, so six into this and six into minus two is minus twelve. And then minus twelve plus thirty seven is twenty five. So here I'd be getting plus twenty five at the end. Now let's take x plus one by x as y. Okay, uh, so this would be six y square minus twenty five y plus twenty five equal to zero. Now next, uh, you see you could either do it by factorization method or 
you can uh, you know use a formula method if you are familiar with the factorization method go ahead with it or you could use a formula method which i am showing it right now uh, here a is 6 p is minus 25 c is 25 okay so you guys are you guys must be already familiar with the minus b plus or minus 2 p square minus 4 ac by 2a so hence just put those values minus of minus 25 plus 25 minus 25 square is nothing but 625 and here okay do multiply it like this 4 into 25 is 100 100 into 6 is 600 i just changed the order like 4 6 are 24 24 into 25 is also 600 but you know 4, 25 into 4 is 100 100 into 6 600 easy right so this is what i would get under 25 plus or minus 100 root 625 minus 600 it's 25 25 plus or minus root 25 by 12 25 plus or minus 5 by 12 so basically 25 plus 5 by 12 and 25 minus 5 by 12 it's 30 by 12 comma 20 by 12 so 6 5s are 6 2s are 4 5s are 4 3s are 5 by 2 and 5 by 3 now we only got y guys don't relax it we only got y we need to find x y is something which we introduced now we need to get x with the help of the y which we got here so what was our y it was x plus 1 by x so case 1 y is 5 by 2, k is 2, y is 5 by 3. Uh, uh, in place of y, put x plus 1 by x. In place of y here, also put, put x plus 1 by x. If you take LCM, you would get x square plus 1 by x here, and x square plus 1 by x here. Just to cross multiplication, this 2 here, and x here, 3 here, and x here. This is what you would get. And just multiply here, 2x square plus 2 is equal to this, 3x square plus 3 is equal to uh, this. Now next, bring this 5x here, and bring this 5x here. Okay? Now, uh, now from here, uh, it's better to use a formula method in general because like if you, if you feel it's you can factorize it, you can factorize it. There's nothing wrong. With it. Fine. Uh, now here, uh, a is two, b is minus five, and c is two. So for these two equations, just use the formula method to get the you know roots, and then we would be done again uh, using the formula. You don't have to write it again here. They just put it because it you know goes with the flow. It's nice. Anyways, it is just copy paste for me while I'm making, making a PPT. But for you guys, you can do that copy paste. <laughs> you guys have to write it. That's why you need not write it again. Directly you can show this x is equal because you already mentioned for y the formula. Formula if you mention one at one place, it's sufficient. Okay, just substitute the values respectively. Uh, minus of minus five would be five minus five whole square e25 minus four two are eight eight two are sixteen. So 5 plus or minus under root 25 minus 16 by 2 into 2 is 4. Now here I'd get minus of minus 5 is 5. Now here minus 5 square is 25 minus 4 threes are 12, 12 threes are 36. Okay. Now this would be nothing but, you know, 5 plus or minus root 9. Okay. Root 9 is 3 from, from there. And 25 minus 36 is minus 11. Now what I'm going to do is, okay, first let's come here. Root 9 is 3. Now, root, root of minus 11, I'm going to write it as root of minus 1 into root of 11. What's root of minus 1? i. Okay, so this here you know, uh, this will be 5 plus or minus i root 11 by 6. That's it, you can stop here for this. You can't do anything further uh, simplification to this. Now, here 5 plus 3 is 8 and 5 minus 3 is 2. 3 by 4, 2 by 4 and 2 comma 1 by 2. That's it. We got all our 6 roots. So, basically, if you observe you know x x plus 1 was a root so minus 1 uh, x plus 1 was a i'm sorry x plus 1 was a factor if you'll observe at the beginning i mentioned so minus 1 is one root for this uh, 60 degree uh, 60 degree polynomial and uh, x minus 1 was another factor so one is another root for this so ultimately my roots are 1 minus 1 half two and this that's it. Not just this question. I've made uh, many more questions related to theory of equations. Uh, uh, you will find you can find the link to the entire playlist in the description. It's there in the description. Please do check it out. And if you like this video, please hit that like. Uh, please hit that like button so that it will encourage me to make many more of uh, such videos. And not just that, you know, it takes time and effort to make such PPTs. Okay, it took me <laughs> good amount of time. So hope you will uh, hit that like button and encourage me. And if this is your first time coming across my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to it. Thank you very much.